very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking actually I'm really happy with these live trading videos because I think it is what making this is this is channel very special I mean it's really easy for anyone to check the past and tell you that here we can place buy order we can see the support and here we see the resistance we can place sell but actually not so many channels doing actual live trading on their account and showing to you what's happening in action how can they take the profit and how can they close it with the loss so I'm really happy to see these videos uh, on the channel and I will make sure we will have more and more of them every week so because I believe you seeing live trading is what exactly you need uh, to learn Forex it is the best thing you can ever do to gain more experience in this field so let's go now and do some live trading shall we okay so right now I'm on the pound AUD and I can see this uh, bearish breakout happening it's happening quite fast and I think the candle is breaking from the level and I believe it's gonna go down all the way remember I'm on the four hour chart so I think this breakout is gonna keep going until it touch this tiny small support right here on the same level of this small wick here we can see that we had here a support let me just uh, zoom in more so what we can see here this is small tail here which has been later breaking out by this uh, bearish breakout candle and followed later to be a resistance level so this support level I'm not saying it's strong but it is a support and there is a possibility of a reversal right on this level so I will just keep my eyes on it I think uh, it will be useful and I will just set alarm here uh, alert sorry so once the candle touch this level right here it will send me uh, a message so I will know that I can enter here so let me now try to find some trade uh, that w okay good very good very good very good very good yes interesting yeah let me explain to you why did I enter this trade and I think this is very easy because simple as that a support number one support number two very simple <laughs> what can I say more than that uh, let me tell you something I'm not saying that you can do this blindly and I'm not saying that the market now will fly up and I'm not telling you that you should exit your trade at the nearest resistance which is right here which can give you 1000 uh, sorry 150 pips of profit what I'm after is just a 20 pips uh, profit let me show you this is on my channel you can see here I have uh, this video here 20 pips a day strategy followed by 70 pips profit live trading this is a 20 pips a day strategy which I'm using right now on this video and I think it is one of the best things you can do for your day trading style because you don't have to trade so much time uh, of the day and it's enough to enter one or two trades maximum and you will be in good profit and let's say unfortunately there will be losses it will be also limited because you entered only one or two trades and with a small amount of your money or with the proper money management you will be safe I later have made <clears throat> so many live trading videos using the 20 pips a day strategy such as this one here and this one here also 20 pips a day uh, and there is more actually uh, yeah this one here 20 pips a day and here also 20 pips a day so many of them so you can actually re relate to them if you want to understand what exactly I'm looking at in these trades so now let's go back to 30 minutes time frame and we can see how really beautiful this uh, trade is this is a very clear and simple support resistance trade a support number one and I'm entering on the small reversal again I'm not saying that the market will fly up at all no I'm expecting it to reverse a little bit just give me 20 pips and I'll be fine because this is GPP and ZD a small reversal from this pair can mean a lot of pips and a lot of money look at that 18 19 20 that's it I just want to see a small reversal just to reach this level 
and give me $25, aka 20 pips. That's it. That's the strategy. That's how you can enter and aim 20 pips a day in your day trading. So, uh, I will not, of course, uh, accept only one trade in this video. I will do some more. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful and simple this strategy is. And again, guys, this is the third time I'm saying that don't look for big uh, reversals here. Just because you are on the daily chart and you are on the four hour chart trading the pound pairs. So a small reversal is all what you need. That's it. Just go after these small reversals. So let's go back and find something else. Um, I'm on the four hour char chart right now. And I'm trying to find something good. Hmm. Hold on a bit. Hold on a bit, little bit. Yes. AUD, USD. Yes. Place another trade. Uh, of course, I will. Ex uh, I will explain the reason why did I enter this trade. Uh, remember, again, we are on the four-hour chart, and each candle might represent a support or resistance. So what did I see here? Look, let's look at the left. We see here that we had this resistance level, we had this resistance, and we had this resistance as well. And all of them are exactly on the very same level. So what happened later? These resistance levels has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle. And again, what we can see right uh, after that is a small wick here representing a support level on the very same level of the resistance as well. Later on, we can see one week here representing the new resistance, which is a resistance number one. What I have entered here is simply resistance number two. And again, I'm, nev I'm never saying that the candle will go down and I can aim like 100 pips from this one. No way. What I can aim from this one is just a small reversal, very small reversal, like up to this level only. And that's it. And it's going to be huge, I think, because this is the four hour chart. Uh, let me see how many pips is that. Ah, OK, just nine pips, eight pips. Hmm. It's all right. Not a big problem. Uh, I think we will get these pips and the reversal will going to happen. But let me just try to find something else and pay attention to this one. Uh, in worst cases, if the candle will continue to go more up, it will go until this uh, resistance level right here. So it's important when you enter a trade and you are afraid that it might lose is to follow up what will gonna happen. So if, if, if the candle will go against you, where is it going? It's gonna go to this resistance. And if in the case this happened, can it reverse from here? You need to pay attention. Don't ever set stop loss like that. Just look for the next opportunity to recover your losses from the first trade. So again, um, I'm on the four hour chart and I need to continue looking for a setup that I can enter. Actually, I can hold on. Wait a minute. That is really good support level right here. And it's just right before this long resistance here and uh, on the one hour chart it doesn't really seem very promising hmm no i will avoid it uh ex let me explain the reason why i'm avoiding this one now you might tell me that this is a good setup because here we have a support level which has been later been broken out by this bullish breakout candle you are right. That is on the four hour chart. Seemingly, it is a good setup. But going to the one hour chart, we can see something different here. Uh, what I see on the uh, one hour chart is these wicks here. Actually, it's, um, how can I say that? It's screwing the whole setup. Now, my setup is very simple. I need to find a support level has been broken out and later we can see it breaking, breaking out again with a bullish breakout candle. And when the market goes down again on the same level, I will place my buy here and I will be in profit and the market should go up because this support level will remain acting as a support. However, what's happening here, the scenario happening here is similar to this one with a small adjustment like that. That this level, we had here another two attempts 
of the resistance above this support level here that actually might screw your whole setup and it might not work and that will actually indicate that the market instead of going up it might actually go more down so just to make it more clear if we did if we did not have these wicks here if they were just like that i would have placed my buy order absolutely but because of them it means that this level is not trusted and there is high possibility that the market will continue to go down and that i don't want let me try to find something else i really hope that in this video i can enter like four to five trades just to show you and also i can earn more money but unfortunately uh, the market doesn't seem to give us more setups so far i cannot find anything trusted mm, not so good nothing here nothing here as well uh, absolutely nothing here okay let me go back again one more time I'm waiting for the GBP AUD to reach this support level still it's far to reach it um, nothing here this one yeah that is the one we entered and we can see the reversal has uh, the reversal is already happening I believe this will be a good trade um, try to find something else absolutely I can pause the video but I really want you to live the experience it's really important it's important part to know that it is not easy task to find the setups if you think you can just open the computer and you think okay let me go start make more money now let me just find any setup and enter and make money it doesn't work this way sorry you need patience you need time uh, to find the best trusted setup you can enter huh. Eurocad is now approaching a support level right here let me search, check this one on the one hour chart it's the same scenario uh, I forgot which pair was it was it Euro AUD anyway uh, we can see that we have here the support level uh, the problem is we have this resistance and here as well and the candle is actually going right below these resistance levels that actually might ruin your setup again I'm telling you so again I'm, I'm not going to enter here I will be careful by the way this one is approaching the take profit very nice GBP and ZD I will not be greedy I will just close it with a profit because there is still a chance that the market might actually reverse against me and I will lose it because again I'm telling you I'm just aiming the reversal from this trade so we have earned approximately uh, like 20 pips from this trade so the daily target has been already reached and this one is now reversing uh, the AUD USD yeah should be nice should be good I will wait for this candle to actually reach the take profit and by that we will end the video it will be a short video just showing you the day trading uh, style that I'm doing just to aim and get my profit and get out of the market and the most important thing is you should avoid over trading don't keep trading the whole day don't get greedy and thinking that you should get every single pip from these candles that's not gonna happen I'm, I'm sorry so uh, my friends I will pause the recording right now and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with this one okay my friends it has been a while and this candle doesn't seem to go down and to be honest frankly I need to close the video right now because I have other things to do uh, what I wanted to explain to you here is I have fulfilled my target and above it to be honest of reaching 20 pips uh, in this video and I have uh, reached that already and that is the main target of this strategy it called it 20 pips a day and 20 pips a day has been already reached this is what you can do just try to find the really trusted setups and enter them and you'll be fine look at that this is the trade I have entered the GBP and ZD that was my take profit look at that here right here and, the, and now the candle it seems to be going down so it's really important that you know where to exit your trade just accept 20 pips and get out and by the way uh, just to be clear here why did I exit my trade right here 
Um, actually, if I look at the left, I have here a strong, or not a strong, of course, I just have here a resistance followed by support. So this is the nearest support to this trade. And I set my take profit just 20 pips below, or sorry, 20 pips, and this 20 pips, it was below this level here. So don't be greedy is the main secret to be successful uh, in this uh, strategy and in Forex in general. So yeah, I will make this video short, just 14 minutes, that should be fine. Uh, yeah, just one trade, two trades, and that's it. 20 pips has been fulfilled. So I hope that was informative to you, my friends, and I would like to thank you for watching.